Hey guys, me and Lewis are, well Lewis isn't technically here, he's around. We're coming at you today, oh there's my mascot. Um, we're coming at you today because we had a baby last week. <laughs> but, <laughs> that mascot's gone. That one hurts. Um, but not the baby in the conventional sense. We got a kitty. We got a little baby kitty. This is Nala. Before I go through why we chose Nala, I just want to show you. She's got a little beard and a little pirate patch. Um, whoa. So she's absolutely diddy. She's tiny, tiny. Um, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about her. Like I said, we still have Minnie. I don't know if Lewis can grab her and show, put her on camera again, but she, we do still have her. I've got a hole in my shoulder. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I've got a lot of holes in my clothes from this one. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Nala. And what, like let's just let her go. <laughs> we'll let her go. We'll put her back on in a minute. Um, So, we got her about a week ago. Okay. And we settled on the name Nala for two reasons. First off, I did want a pirate name for her because she has the beard and the patch. So we were thinking of Little Lizzie. Uh, because in Pirates of the Caribbean, they have Elizabeth, don't they? Yeah. Um, I'm going to put you in slightly. <laughs> so we were going to call her that. But then a couple of days after we had her, Queen Elizabeth passed away. So we decided that wasn't going to be very fitting. We didn't want people thinking we were sort of naming her after the Queen because the Queen's dead. Um, the reason we was going to do that is, like I said, because of Elizabeth the Pirate. So we were thinking of the name Jackie. But your auntie is named Jackie, so that name didn't fit um, because of like Jack Sparrow, female version. And then we went to Sparrow, and of course, cats eat birds, so Sparrow didn't fit, and then you came up with the name Nala. Right. Nala was sort of bottom of our list we, that we had thought of, but it does fit her. She's got her little paws crossed. <laughs> um, so Nala does fit her, obviously it fits our theme as well, because she's, Nala's a Disney name, and... Yeah, we thought mini Nala, it fits. So she is tiny, tiny. She's the second smallest or the smallest of the litter. Yeah. I have a very, very slim suspicion she's the same woman that I got mini off of, but I can't confirm that. Um, it's just some things that have lined up that's got me thinking. But anyway, we got her off Gumtree. Not the best place to get cats. She hasn't been seen by a vet. But she seems to be healthy. She's eating, what, about 20 grams uh, food a day. She also still has uh, kitten milk, which I've been putting in a bowl. That needs to actually go out. Um, because she wasn't eating a lot, so we've given her kitten milk. And then she's eating about half a tablespoon of biscuits at night. So she is absolutely tiny we weighed her and she came in at uh, 800 and fifth between 850 and 880 grams so she is absolutely tiny but she is also very very healthy very very energetic she will get up with us and she will bounce around for hours and chase toys and ribbons and where's her favourite one? I don't know, she has this stick with a little tangle on it and she also has this um, little laser pen. laser pen but she's going to sleep actually so I'm not going to do that um, they are her favourite toys Minnie hated her to start with Minnie, they were never really seriously vocal like before we had Betty and Minnie was howling um, but there was no howling there was no screeching there was some low tone grumbles and some hissing that's more or less stopped now within a week um, 
they do get on they do play chase in the evening and when i say play chase i mean 100 miles an hour through the house um yeah they literally go from my bedroom which is here through the bedroom round the coffee table back out to the bathroom back into here around the coffee table and back into the bedroom and Minnie has some very clever tricks Minnie will jump up onto the bed because Nala can't jump on the bed yet and oh <laughs> um can move. She will, but I think it hurts him. Um, so Minnie has some very um slight tricks to get away from her. Minnie does have spaces she can get away from her, but they're getting on like a house on fire. I mean, they are friendly to each other. They are um getting on. Like I say, they are now being friends nala oh lewis was right she's not gonna go back to sleep nala is a firecracker she is beautiful um but she's gonna see the vets in a couple in two weeks to get her first shots and she is at the moment i'll show you quickly living in that little cage there overnight She's staying there overnight, and when she's put in there at night, she cries and she cries and she cries. Um, so she's in there overnight just because at the moment I don't want her out at night. She is small, and we don't want her going anywhere she shouldn't be. And I also don't trust Minnie 100% to be nice all night. I mean, during the day, they're fine. But I think that's because we're here. <laughs> so, yeah, this video's a little bit rambly. I didn't really know how to go about it. Because, obviously... Oh, sorry, guys. Move a little bit. Because I didn't quite know how to go about doing this video. Because I don't have a lot of information on her, apart from... She's a cat that eight is eight weeks old and I bought her off Gumtree. If you look onto my Instagram, which obviously I'll link below, as well as an Amazon wish list that is for the cats, that's also down below. Um, there are newborn photos of her, as well as a picture of her mum, who is a beautiful cat. Um, there's photos of her that I've put on, and there's newborn photos that's of her that I've put on. So people that follow my Instagram will probably know about this straight away. So I'm going to show you one, like put Nala on camera one last time before she goes and terrorises Minnie for the next few hours. But one more time, this is Nala. She's tiny. She's beautiful colouring. She has beautiful markings. Minnie. And that's her, ooh, that's the other Yay. side of her, and this is Nala, Nala do. Yay. So yeah, that's Nala, and go back to daddy because you're going to scratch me arms up. <laughs> yeah, I keep having crashes my PP, so I'm bleeding everywhere. Okay. Um, but yeah, I will give you updates on her as and when you know we see vets, or I'm gonna try and get some boxes like mystery boxes in for her so we can have a few more things. But she does love, I don't know where. Oh, here it is. Here's her favorite toy uh -oh. a little stick, and it's a little bit shorter than the one I got for Minnie, so it's a little bit more kitten size, and she loves it. If I can get her to play with it. <laughs> there you go. Come on. 
she does just literally hold on to it. She's like, yeah, I'm not giving that back. It's mine. But anyway, <laughs> we have done a 10 minute video. So that is all for today, guys. That is all for Nala. You go play. Go and terrorize Minnie. Um, oh, Minnie just hit her on the head. No, she <laughs> does she not look like she raised no. it? No. Her. Look like it. So Minnie just does this little pop right on the head sometimes. But anyway, guys, that's all from us. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.